Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to use J Calendar Control in Swing based application. In Swing, we are not having any built in calendar control, so we will be downloading a jar file and we will be using that. So, let's start the video. So, you can open any of your favorite browser and just search calendar or J Calendar jar. And here you can see the top website that is To Editor. And here you can click on this link jcalendartoeditor.com. Okay, now here you can see it has redirected me to this page and here it is showing me various types of calendar control available. So you can just see here we have a J date chooser and here we have J calendar chooser which allow you to show entire calendar and then we have J year chooser where you can get only the years then we have a month chooser if you want only month to be displayed then we have a J day chooser where you can select only a particular day and then we have a J spin field where I can increment or decrement and lastly we have J local chooser I can select the local also so if you want to get all this you have to just download this zip file which is containing a jar related to calendar so just click on this link and you can see it has downloaded my jar file and now what I will do I will extract this jar file so my download is in downloads folder so I'm just going to extract this jar file so here I'm going to click on extract to and I've just extracted you can use any software for extracting your jar file so now after extraction let me show you location so here in downloads folder you can see I have J calendar 1.4 and there is one folder lib in this we have all this jar file but I will be using what J calendar 1.4 which is containing all the classes related to calendar date and time now I want to use this calendar so I will be creating a new project for that I have just started my Eclipse and here go to file new and then give the project name so here I am giving project name as calendar demo and just click on this finish button so it has created my project you can see here it has created my project and now I will be adding frame to this project so just select your SRC folder and go to this visual classes and select swing frame and now give the name to your frame so I am giving name as calendar frame and here I am providing package name as Sunita and just click on finish button you can see it has added a class frame class and now here I will click on this design button to go to my design and here you can see in the toolbox or palette it is not showing me calendar control because I have not added the jar file to my eclipse so I will be showing you how to do that but before that let me change layout of my content pane it is border I'm making it absolute layout now let me show you how to add this jar file which we have downloaded so just right click near this component tab and here you can see there is an option import jar select that and now here click on this folder icon and select file system and browse your jar file and here you can see it is showing me all the classes available in my that jar file so if you want any specific class file to be selected you can select that I want all the classes to be selected hence I am selecting select all and after that I am just clicking on ok button with this confirmation box so what this is saying that this J calendar is not added to my class path so would you like to add this to class path yes of course whenever we are using any jar file it should be added to class path so click on yes button and here you can see it is not showing me the calendar controls in my component but you can see my jar file has been added to my reference library so what we have to do just one final step just restart your id so i have restarted my id now let's launch it okay now i'm going to in page and now let me just scroll down in this component palette 
and here you can see your calendar control j day chooser j month chooser locale j calendar all are available over here okay so now i will be showing you a simple application where i am going to take this j calendar control and one more button and whatever day you select on click up button i am going to show that day in a j option pane so i have just click on the button and you can see action perform event has been fired and now what i am doing i am just writing j option pane dot show message dialog the second parameter i am passing as today's date plus and my calendar control name that is calendar dot get date so get date method returns the selected date from your calendar control okay now my code is done i am going to simply save my code and i will run my code okay so let's run it okay here you can see it is showing me my calendar and my button i am just selecting one of the date and just clicking on the show date button you can see it has shown me the date now i'm just changing the month and again i'm selecting this okay so i'm changing year i'm clicking on button again so you can see it is working perfectly so in your project if you are trying to use calendar control you can follow all the steps which i have shown you i'm very much sure this is going to help you in your project so i hope guys you like this video if yes then don't forget to hit on like button and if you have any kind of query you can put in comment box i will be surely replying to your queries if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press bell icon to receive updates from my channel also you can click on this info button to watch the videos on my channel there are lots of video related to core java advanced java jsp solid swing just go through the playlist and watch that thank you guys for watching my video till then i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care